70% of the surface of our planet is covered with water. Seas and oceans hide not only diverse inhabitants, but also traces of humanity. Thousands of sunken ships contain pieces of our centuries-old history. Let's look into these depths of the sea and find out what secrets they hide. So, imagine you dive into the seabed and find there... No, it's not the wreckage of a pirate ship of the 16th century. We've seen it many times in many documentary shows and read about it in books, and it's not attractive now. So, you dive into the ocean floor and find a huge porcelain tableware store. And it's not just porcelain that you can buy in the store, but more than 500-year-old dishes. The Chinese Ming Dynasty developed maritime trade for imports from foreign countries several hundred years ago. One ship didn't survive a sea storm and sank somewhere on the northwestern slope of the South China Sea. There, scuba divers discovered a sunken ship with valuable cargo on board. Thousands of porcelain cups, plates, and jugs with beautiful painted patterns lay among algae and sea sand. Experts counted all the items and claimed the ship carried about 100,000 items, but not all of them ended up in the cargo hold. Valuable items were scattered over hundreds of thousands of square feet. A similar case occurred in the Mediterranean Sea. One guy was diving off the coast of Israel and accidentally discovered the oldest sunken sea cargo in the eastern Mediterranean. Pieces of marble sculptures and structures lay on the seabed among the wreckage. They were so ancient that they got covered with algae and became part of the underwater landscape. Another unusual find was discovered in the deep water ridge of the Pacific Ocean, north of the Hawaiian Islands, in one of the largest marine reserves in the world. A research vessel sailed along the seabed and discovered a road. Part of the bottom was covered with yellow brick tiles. It was also like the tile used to cover a swimming pool. The researchers conducted an expedition in this unknown place and posted videos online. They went down to a depth of about 1.8 miles and noticed a strange track on the bottom made of yellow bricks. One of the guys jokingly said that it was the road to Atlantis. In fact, the road led nowhere and it wasn't made by humans. Nature created this unusual landscape. The place with stone tiles was at the bottom of the lake, located at the top of an underwater mountain. Perhaps once upon a time, it was a volcano. Magma heated the surface and cracks appeared on the ground. The lines of cracks made the solid surface look like a brick road. Okay, how about something more mysterious? 20 years ago, a Norwegian research vessel discovered strange holes in the seabed in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Then, already in 2022, other researchers found something similar, but at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Scientists discovered about 200 holes in three different places at a depth of about two miles. The holes were arranged in several rows, and a tunnel was under each. But where did it lead? To find out, you first need to find out who made these holes. Scientists studied animals that live at such a depth under enormous pressure. Imagine the weight of several dozen elephants pressed on a small area the size of a palm. That's about the pressure exerted by water in these depths. But still, some marine life has been able to adapt to such conditions. Scientists have seen sea urchins and worms, and even some big fish but none of them made these mysterious holes. They saw a strange creature with a white and pink-hued body inside one of the holes. It was an amphipod, one of the crustacean family's representatives. Scientists caught it and did a little research. This little crayfish was digging a tunnel with its long claws. It used it as a home to hide and shelter its offspring or the small crustacean was digging tunnels in search of food. There's a place in the ocean where many remnants of ships lie on the seabed. And not sailing ships, but the space ones. 
This place is located in the South Pacific Ocean and is called Point Nemo. This is the most remote place from land on our planet. The nearest island is over 1,000 miles away from here. There's only a boundless ocean and complete loneliness. You won't even meet fish and other marine life here. The place receives little nutrients from the world's oceans because undercurrent and wind almost don't reach this area. There are different microorganisms in Point Nemo, but it's not why we're here. The reason is fireballs that fall from the sky into the water sometimes. And they're not meteorites, but some pieces of space rockets, ships, or satellites that failed. Point Nemo is an ocean desert, so space debris can't harm anyone here. Even if some heavy object provokes a giant wave, it won't reach the nearest land as it will lose all power in the water. Some archaeologists believe the oldest city in the world is about 9,500 years old. But you won't find it on land because it lies on the seabed in the Gulf of Cambay off the coast of India. Scientists have found many ancient artifacts, such as sculptures, furniture, and other interior items. They analyzed a piece of wood found there and determined it was over 9,000 years old. Scientists are still trying to determine what kind of city it was and when it existed. Tutankhamun's tomb is a well-known archaeological find. But what do we know about the burial place of the most recent pharaoh of Egypt? Cleopatra's tomb may lie somewhere in the ancient city of Alexandria. But the problem is that this beautiful city is underwater. After about 1,600 years, it sank to the seabed because of floods and earthquakes, and its ruins were discovered in 1998. Scientists and builders plan to create underwater tunnels on its territory to turn the city into an underwater museum. You can meet an unusual natural phenomenon, barinacles, in the depths of the Arctic and the southern ocean of Antarctica. It looks like an icicle frozen in water, which attracts marine organisms to itself and freezes them. When salt flows out of cracks on the ocean floor, it freezes since its density is greater than the density of the surrounding water. Upon contact with fresh water, it turns into liquid ice and freezes. Starfish, hedgehogs, and crustaceans were stuck there as this salt froze them. Famous Stonehenge has a double underwater. At the bottom of Lake Michigan, at a depth of about 40 feet, scientists found several rectangular stones arranged in a circle just like the famous ancient monument of England. On one of the stones, scientists noticed something similar to the image of a mastodon, an elephant-like animal that became extinct more than 10,000 years ago. Despite the apparent similarities with Stonehenge, some scientists believe that nature could make this monument. In 2012, scientists found a strange object similar to an extraterrestrial spacecraft on the Baltic lake floor. This stone object had tunnels and staircases around it. When the photo of the find hit the internet, many newspapers began to write that it was something from another planet. But scientists analyzed the artifact and said there was nothing extraterrestrial in it. It was a natural rock formation. But no one knows how nature could do such a thing. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.